Tyler Oakley is so cute. Isn't he adorable? The little blonde hair, the giggles, all the gratitude that he gives to his fangirls who follow him. I love him. And I'm sure a lot of you out there wonder how you can get a date with Tyler Oakley. Well, I'm gonna tell you. First of all, I'm gonna set him aside and do a little bit of splaining to you because you need to understand a few things about gender in order to date Tyler Oakley. First thing is, there are three concepts around surrounding gender that you might be interested to learn about. One day is gender role, gender identity, and sexual orientation. Three distinct concepts that are not necessarily connected to each other. So gender role, the things you like to do. Are they traditionally more masculine? Are they traditionally more feminine? Who thought up these words traditionally masculine, feminine? Apparently, if you like to play with tools, fix up cars, uh, take out the trash, that's considered masculine. If you like to cook and clean and sew, which I do, and garden, maybe that's kind of more feminine. I don't know, but that's what we call your gender role. Now, gender identity is how you feel. Do you feel more woman-like, more guy-like? How do you feel? It doesn't matter what your biology says. You could feel very, very, very feminine and have um, quite a pack in brick. Brick, brick, what? You could have quite, you could be, <laughs> I can't talk, but you know what I'm talking about, packing a brick down there? All right, so if you're packing a brick down there and you have a feminine identity, that's okay. It's all allowed, okay? It's how you feel about yourself. And finally, sexual orientation. That has to do with which gender you're attracted to. To. Doesn't matter what gender you are, it's what gender you're attracted to. All right, full circle, let's go back to Tyler Oakley here. All right, here's what you need to know about it. My guess is that, Dr. Wendy says, that Tyler Oakley probably has a, a slightly feminine gender identity and gender role. I only say that because he's such a fangirl and we all love that about him. We think that biologically he's male, uh, at least that's what we hope for. Um, so if you want to date him, here's my idea. You should probably have male genitalia. You should probably have kind of a masculine gender role, but you have to be able to laugh at his jokes because he's very, very funny. And you also have to understand that he's going to need front row seats to one direction. And also, one last thing, if you do get to sleep over at his house, whatever you do, do not take his hair products. That guy is going to go ape shit on you. Seriously. Oh, can a doctor say shit? All right. Check it out. Tyler Oakley. That's how to date him.